What's going on guys? Global King back in with another video and today we're back in NBA 2K team my team and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay and today we're actually going to be doing the gameplay on this 89 overall Ruby Brent Barry. Now as you guys can tell by that title this is the best budget Ruby card that you can pick up in this game in my opinion. And so if we quickly take a look at the auction house it looks like the cheapest Brent Barry that you can buy right now is about 1,800 MT which is super cheap for how good this Ruby card is. So if you happen to have around 1,800 to 2,000 MT laying around which I'm sure most of you should have then you should definitely pick up this card but like i said now we're going to get into the card stats he's six foot seven 94 on offense and 87 on defense he's got an 85 standing layup and an 84 driving layup which isn't the best but isn't terrible at all he's got an 85 draw foul which is pretty good an open shot mid of 89 and then he's got an open shot three of 98 with a 94 contested shot three and that's one of the main reasons why this card is crazy op a 98 open shot three on a ruby card that only goes for 1800 this cards op he's also got 97 free throw and 86 ball control so this card can actually speed boost his passing isn't the best but it's not bad at all he's also got pretty decent defense with an 85 lateral quickness 88 pass perception 70 shot contest isn't the best but 88 steel is really good with the 85 defensive consistency so he's actually pretty solid on defense 97 driving dunk with a 95 contact dunk and you know he obviously has to have the driving dunk tendencies and flashy dunk tendency both at 100 and then if we check out his badges he comes with three hall of fame badges which is actually crazy for a ruby card he comes with catch and shoot corner specialist and deep range dead eye all on hall of fame which are literally three of the best four shooting badges and he has them on hall of fame if he had hall of fame limitless range it would make this card crazy op i wish they would have given it to him but i understand why they didn't because it's just a ruby card he comes with two gold badges posterizer lob city finisher the best two dunking badges that you can have in this game so those are the stats of this ruby brent barry obviously the gameplay should show a lot more of why this card is so good but anyway this is the lineup he's going to be running in he's going to be running at small forward maybe i'll move him to shooting guard i don't think this card can really play very well at point guard even though he can speed boost this is what the bench is looking like these are the starters with brent barry and let's get into this gameplay all right so it looks like 2k did find us an opponent let's see the team we're going up against like i said i'm hoping it's not too fire and yeah this dude's team is crazy op he is running a small ball lineup with dominique wilkins at power forward but yeah this dude's team is op he's got the vince card this is going to be a very tough gameplay start of the recording a little bit late Brent Barry did just get a nice assist to Dominique Wilkins with this dude's team being so OP it's kind of going to be hard to go off with him as he gets a nice dunk right there but like I was saying it's going to be kind of hard to go off with just Brent Barry because this dude's team is just crazy OP I'm obviously still going to try to mainly score with him let's bring it up we're going to try to pull off Brent Barry's man as we do right there nice little open shot mid I don't know why he cut in but he does hit it first bucket of the game good defense right here Shaq getting help he's going to try to blow by he does get that animation and gets it to go push it up while he's down Shaq's got the wide open break right there that's the best thing about this diamond shack he actually does have like 80 speed push it over dominique get in here james harden's wide open we got to take the three if it's there it's open shot three he hits it we're back in the game i'm really trying to get brent barry over and i'm trying to move vince carter off of him so we can get an open shot three but it's not really working out too well so far brent barry wide open you got to hit that three i got him wide open pulled off vince carter and he hits it with that 98 open shot three he's got five points in the first quarter good move right there by james harden i see brent barry wide open in the corner green light eight points in the game bro this card's looking like it's crazy op all right let's blow by james harden that should be easy diamond james harden does not have the best defense easy dunk right there for brent barry he's got 10 points already 10 points in the first quarter is really good for brent barry i'm gonna bring the bench in to give him a little bit of a rest to bring him back in at the start of the second quarter he's trying to bully me with Shaq. we gotta stop that good d right there by demarcus that should not go in we get a nice board all right so we're into the second quarter brent barry is back in the game he currently has 10 points and an assist a really good first quarter really one of the reasons we're up right now definitely got to play some good defensive possessions good steal right there i'm trying to get brent barry back he's kind of trailing i don't think i'm gonna be able to hit him let's hit wes unso driving there easy dunk on curry i wanted to hit brent barry on that fast break but he just wasn't really getting up the court fast enough haven't been able to get brent barry too open in the second quarter hopefully we can get him some threes as it continues see if we can get a blow by animation this is going to be very cheese with brent barry we do get it and he almost dunked on hakeem that would have been crazy but now I see him open for the mid-range, and we're going to blow by him again and get a nice contested layup. All right, Brent Barry is right by Giannis. I see Shaq cutting in. Let's see if we can get him to jump. Good move right there. Shaq's going to finish that. You already know. Eight points for Shaq. He's been doing really well. The one thing that is a little bit bad about this Brent Barry is, unfortunately, he's really not as fast as I kind of was hoping and thought he would be. Good steal right there by Brent Barry. I'm actually surprised he got that. Let's try to push it up and see if we can get anything for him. Call for a nice ISO on Giannis. He drives in, gets that little animation, and we're going to the free throw line. So we did make the first free throw. Let's 
check it out again it is a little bit slow kind of like the dominique wilkins one but at 96 percent, i'm really happy with that he's currently got 14 points and three assists he's been playing really well we actually as a team have been playing really well brent Berry was actually starting to get the gatorade symbol so i did have to bring the bench in as he gets a nice bucket right there but like i was saying we're probably gonna have to keep the bench in until like midway through the third quarter and then we'll bring brent Berry back in just because he was getting really tired but he did play very well he ended up having 14 points in that first half which is a lot better than i thought he was gonna do start of the second half nice 10 point lead right now brent Berry had 14 points in that first half played very well as we're letting jordan cut in on us good defense right there by demarcus but we are starting brent Berry on the bench just to give him a little bit of a rest because he was getting pretty tired right there as steph curry hits that shot while hassan whiteside is still back we're gonna give it over to demarcus cousins for a nice crazy slam on dominique wilkins he's been getting a ton of blow by animations this game we've both kind of been doing it but i feel like he's been cheesing a little bit more than i have we actually did grow out the lead to 13 and we are bringing brent Berry back into the game he has 14 points currently hopefully we can grow that to like 20 this quarter that'd be pretty sweet we had a very good defensive possession right there let's throw it over to brent Berry. wait for everybody to calm down and then drive in try to finish that that's very contested i'm actually very surprised he hit that good defense right there again unfortunately brent Berry decided to die for no reason so we couldn't get that fast break opportunity nice crossover right there take it inside can we get an n1 we are getting more free throws he's back at the line let's test out the free throw again it's a hundred percent chance this one and let's see what the second one's looking like not a great release and he does miss that i don't know why i let it go so early drive baseline is not really protecting it Whipping all his double bit and drop out. 19 in the game start of the fourth quarter we are starting with the bench Granberry is about to come in real soon it was a pretty quiet third quarter for him i think he only had like five points but we're definitely about to bring him in pretty soon and he should go on let's give it straight away to brent Berry as he comes back into the game let's try to get a nice animation right there finish that layup 21 points in the game give it right back to him though he's got an open shot three good release right there and he hits it another good rebound by Shaq. we do have a chance for a fast break opportunity drive in with brent Berry, another contested layup and we're going to the free throw line that's the second time i missed a free throw just because i'm releasing it way too early it is a little bit of a slow release but when you get it down it goes in every time another rebound for Shaq. let's push it up to brent Berry. can we get a blow by animation on vince carter oh he's got a clear path to the lane easy dunk 27 points in the game for him wes unseld get in there easy poster slam another assist for brent Berry. he does have five in the game we did just hit a contested layup right there with Brent Barry for 29. So we actually did end up winning that game, and we actually won by 26 points. We blew that guy out. And I was a little nervous going into the gameplay because I saw his starting lineup, and when I see that Diamond Vince, I just know, you know, it's going to be a tough game because he's got Hall of Fame Limitless and Hall of Fame Posterizer. But he really didn't use that Vince Carter too much. He only had six points with him, didn't even take a Limitless three or any threes at all with him. And of course, for my team, Brent Barry had 29 points, our leading scorer, five assists, one steal, and only two turnovers he also shot 11 for 19 from the field which is about 58 percent which is pretty good considering the fact that he did get blocked a couple times and i took a couple bad shots he also was three for four from the three-point line that's 75 percent. that's actually really good and he was four for six from the free throw line but the two misses he had were just bad releases by me so he probably should have been it could have been six for six he did only have 29 points but that's just because i was trying to play a really good all-around game using all of my players just because i really wanted to win against that dude's team who was very good and for the most part, he was going up against that diamond Vince Carter, and he still managed to get 29 points. And it's not like I even tried to score every single point with him. Shaq had 10, Wes Unseld had 7, James Harden had 6, you know, a lot of other people had 6 points. It was a very well-rounded scoring game for my entire team. I definitely think this card is worth it if you have like 2,000 MT just lying around. You might as well pick one up. Best budget Ruby card in the game, in my opinion. And anyway, guys, that has been the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Let me know in the comment section any other gameplays or video ideas you guys might have for me please leave a like and subscribe if you guys are new and i'll be back soon it's been global king and i'm out peace they put up on my nigga at the light like uh, nice watch run it hands in the air now hands in the air